Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with Jules Trill, of course, this guy under. And today we're up against a guy named Supreme Toadlord. And this is actually a battle on my stream that uh, I actually recorded before the capture card now did went down. Um, and yeah, looking to his team here, we had an R game, and before going in, I said that, you know, I probably have in theory the stronger team. But I've been wrong before against the uh, Leo Supreme Toadlord because he has a tendency to bring sets that throw me off guard and uh, he has won because of that so I have that in mind going in like I should not take my chances here and look to him for the team we've got Mr. Mime, Chinchino, Hitmonchan, Jumpluff, Gel Fox and Stolen. Perhaps it's Stolen, that's awesome. I must use self using that Aria team I've been using for quite some time with uh, Leveny, Tarantrum, Clawlist, uh, um, Electivire? No, Electric. Damn, I'm screwing that up. Uh, Medisham and Drapion. And my biggest threat this battle is actually Shinchino. Uh, because Shinchino outspeeds the majority of my team, even with stick whip support. Uh, it's kind of slow. And if it starts off with Shinchino when I was trying to set up a uh, stick web, he could break my sash and kill me. Uh, which means there will be no stick web. So I was really fearing that start off point. But besides that, I was knowing that had a stick web up. I could find my way around it, um, hopefully. Um, damn, Chinchino is actually a great counter for this team. Anyway, with all this in mind, like I said, I'm just gonna start with Levinny because I was really scared of that Chinchino and just gonna go for one of those really supporting moves and hope you know find a footing through that. So, with all this in mind, guys, let's go. So, from the get go here, he's gonna start with Case, which is a Southland. And I, I'm gonna be honest, from the get go, uh, I saw the Intimidate and I was thinking this could maybe be a defensive set, not necessarily. Uh, just to go for Stick Web and um, just like find that footing throughout the bat. He's going for Return and that Return does not do a whole lot, like that is not Invested Return, which meant that this thing is rather defensive. Now I would probably, I was predicting that he would take the time to finish that uh, Pokemon off. Uh, but no, he went for T-Wave and uh, yeah. I mean, having Tarantrum T-Waved is actually really bad, like that's genuinely bad. And this going for Baby Doll Eyes just basically to shut me down, and I do break through and go for Head Smash, and it's still a 50% hit. Um, I'm not banned or anything like that, I'm actually Wildlands, so I'm able to, of course, land those kind of hits. Uh, my opponent here will switch out to the Captain Falcon, and I decided myself here to, if I remember correctly, to switch out and go back into my Contamil because I kinda need Tarantrum uh, for uh, the Chinchino to take the kind of damage it can output I'm obviously gonna lose it uh, in the end anyway so anyway gonna go for Leaf Storm and it does 50% which tells me that this uh, Hitmonchan is definitely physically oriented and um, sadly we don't really see how much damage that really did but that was probably more than plenty and he's gonna show me leftovers, which I found was really interesting. Uh, Consider the low amount of HP that Hitmonchan has, after all, so he can't really utilize that at all, or not as well. So, anyway, uh, he's gonna go for Mag Punch, he just basically falls here, and I take that Mag Punch really bad. I mean, that's like at least 25%, which is a lot of damage, so that definitely tells me it's invested. So, anyway, Clawlist is definitely feeling threatened here by the Alista, which of course is a Mr. Mime. And uh, yeah, we are definitely gonna get out of here. I'm not gonna take any unnecessary crits or risks. Crits, risks. And you know, he could set up, but he didn't. Um, one thing that Mr. Mom really do is threaten out and go for substitute. Uh, luckily for me, I have Assault Vest and Electivire. Damn it, I did it again. Electric, no, Electro, no. What? <laughs> Electros, god damn it. <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. So anyway, I just went for Thunderbolt, obviously it's not enough, um, but I do get Paralyzation, and that Paralyzation actually matters, because uh, now the Stoutland, since I am an Electros after all, I can't naturally outspeed, but with the Paralyzation I am now faster and can go for that Volt Switch, which is awesome, which is exactly how I wanted. And uh, that is how it goes, that's how the cookie troubles and etc etc. So anyway, gotta go into Panzer, the Drapion, and he's gonna go to B, which is the Shinchino. And yeah, I was fearing this guy being scarfed or anything, you know, I I really wasn't feeling it, like I'm 
basically going to go to my Tarantrum, trying to take a hit here, and um, I'm going to be pleasantly surprised. This thing got freaking it retaliate, and what do you know? It is close to a 50% hit. It's close to actually being a 2 hit KO. That's, that's incredible. That's, that's genuinely scary. And um, if I remember correctly here, I just went for an attack, and this head smash is going to annihilate Mr. Mime. Because it's a Mr. Mime, and I'm a freaking Tyrantrum, so it, there is only one way to get it. But I'm still like paralyzed, and L Lucifer is gonna come in, and being that he's naturally faster, he can go for a substitute. I am fully paralyzed, which means that, yeah, he is staying in. He is staying in. And I really was feeling here that, you know, he's gonna go for sword stance, unburdened shenanigans. I, I need to stop this right away. I really do. And um, Electros might be my only real response to this without losing anything or not losing anything too much. And he's gonna go for that seed bomb. And uh, it's really, really close of killing me. And uh, I'm basically breaking the sub there with the flamethrower. That seed bomb had that kill we would have had all kinds of issues because he's not affected by the, of course, the, um, the stick web, which also means that um, he's outspeeding my whole team, or at least so I thought, but uh, I'm going to pass her hoping to outspeed. I'm actually do because he's not investing in speed and boom, crisis avoided. And I say that because the thing is here, he could have swept with that thing, <laughs> actually. He could have pulled that off. So anyway, obviously I have the sniper and um, the um, damn the item that makes the crits happen more often. Uh, I just I don't remember what it's called. But anyway, that cross poison was enough to kill it. I mean, I, have, I think I have a 50% chance for crits, so it's, it's not that high. But in contrast to what Bravion does, it's really, really good damage. So I go for a nice slash, hoping that it is enough. But I don't score a crit, which means that he gets his will o wisp up, which is actually fine, because you know what? Crit breaks through, burns, like the, the attack drop is not there, and we're gonna try this one more time and make Delphox regret its ever living and go into smack a good with this, and that of course will finish off this game. So yeah, Supreme Total Lords, thank you so much for this battle. Well, like I said, I had a blast, to be honest. Uh, while it is, if you look back at this game, you do realize that it's a very, very one-sided battle where my opponent tried different tricks to uh, throw me off guard, but in the end, I am able to pull a potential sweep with the Drapion, yes. But also, and this is probably the most important part, and the thing that's actually gonna, going to matter, uh, the jump bluff situation, was actually, there is only one way out of that situation, and that is uh, actually him winning in his favor. I think had he gone for a substitute instead of killing the Electros, you know, act <clears throat> activate the Unburden, things would have turned really, really interesting. I, I even firmly believe that I think Jumpluff could have taken a flamethrower from the Electros, and he going run another sword stance, and by that, activated Unburden and all would have changed the outcome significantly, because I don't see Drapion taking uh, um, Unburdened uh, Acrobatics, I don't, and um, yeah, I don't see any other of my Pokemon had left really dealing with that, Tarantrum would not have taken a Seed Bomb, and uh, he could have set up a substitute against that, my Medisham is Life Orb, and you know, couldn't outspeed, so we'll have a lot of those situations where I, f I would have lost by default, and uh, Crisis Avoided by Electrods basically surviving at that first seed bomb, but um, like I said, my opponent had the chance of winning. While it doesn't look like it, it definitely wasn't far off. It was only a real luck that changed that outcome, to be honest. Uh, but anyway, it's been totally fake that battle. I want to thank everybody for watching. Don't expect this quality, sadly, guys, for you to be watching this whole game. Like I said, this is a previous um, recorded battle, and I just decided to upload it because I really liked the outcome of this game. So anyway, I want to thank you for watching, and remember, sky's limit. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Dylan, take care. Bye.